So first of all, we have the strength card. This is basically feeling your um, physical energy, your stamina being uh, sapped. This is kind of like wearing yourself to the ground, working too hard. Um, some of you, I feel like in or like last month, especially if there have been falling out with significant people in your life, you try to brush away those feelings. Whenever those, you know, feelings emerges, you try to bury yourself at work. You try to put in overtime. You try to keep things kind of like keep those feelings um, at arm's length. You didn't want to deal with them. You didn't want to think about them. You didn't want to really think about what you have to do. So you buried yourself in work. You buried yourself in avenues where you felt like you had a lot of control. And a lot of it is work because I feel like for many of you, you're in a position in your work environment where uh, many people look up to you. They respect you. And so you feel that's where you can get, you know, that boost of self-confidence, that boost of self-control where you feel like you're in control. So that's where a lot of your energy was spent. So with the strength card, it's basically urging you, you know, um, take care of yourself, relax a little bit, deal with these issues. They're uncomfortable, but we need to be able to process them. We need to be able to have, you know, the, the right conversations with the right people. We need to also, I feel like apologize if there have been falling outs and you feel like, Oh, I behaved a little bit too uh, rashly, I behaved a little bit too emotionally, I let my feelings get the best of me, it is important to apologize. And if you feel like, you know, this is somebody that I really trust, I really care about, I want to have in my life, be the first to, you know, pry the answer from the lion's mouth. Usually it's what I associate with this card. And, you know, this is your card. This is basically prying the answers from yourself you know, um, speaking from a place of wisdom, speaking from a place of truth and stating your case, stating your truth, because I feel like there needs to be some reconciliation that happens in your life. Okay. So once again, going back to this card in terms of health, this is like flare up inflammation, things that might have been dormant are now making a comeback. So we have a few, you know, types of either like uh, viral infections, bacterial infections, things that might have uh, lain dormant. Now your immune system is a little bit on the weekend. And so it might flare up. So be careful about fevers. Be careful about, you know, like breaking out in hives. And I also feel inflammation around the throat, head, uh, migraines, as well as, you know, teeth issues. Okay. So like inflammation in the teeth, abscesses, um, infections when it comes to gums and, and things like that. So taking care of yourself, going to the doctor, make sure that if you're feeling under the weather, call out sick. Okay. Call out sick, go to the doctor, get proper checkup, get proper diagnoses. Okay. So I feel like that's, first of all, this is health related. And I also feel this is physical health, where the strength might be physical health. The other component, the other card that shows up here, the nine of swords is stress. So this is more emotional, mental health. This card is, it's about stress. It's about not being able to sleep. It's about dealing with some physical symptoms, uh, some aches, some pains, some chronic issue that is keeping you up at night it can also deal with guilt feelings a little bit feeling a little bit like um like we were short trained feeling as if somebody said something really mean and hurtful to us and not being able to defend ourselves mainly because we're just like kind of fearful about their emotional reaction so i do feel physical and emotional health is really high priority take care of these things don't let them exacerbate okay um, I feel like there might be somebody around you. So this is uh, indicative of an earth sign. So we have here Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is somebody that you might have had recently a falling out with. And this is a person that is extremely, extremely stubborn. Okay. They want what they want. They only see what they want. And I feel like they only see things from a, a very narrow perspective, for, which is from their own perspective. On the other hand, Leos, you are also a fixed sign and fixed signs vehemently defend what they believe in. And so it's really, 
I, I feel like once you've made up your mind about a specific opinion, a specific course of action, no one can really persuade you. Okay. And so I feel like there is a major, major creative difference between you and this person here, this earth sign. And there might have been things that you wish you could, like things exchange between conversation, exchange between the two of you that might have been heated. And I feel like some of you are wishing to be able to reconcile or are wishing to be able to take it back, are wishing to be able to, you know, take back everything that was said. So it, it's almost like too much has been said and you wish that you, it, it wasn't so. You wish you could go back in time and try to change the situation. For, for others of you, I feel like this is a relationship partner, somebody that you have children with. And then for others, I do feel a big family vibe. So you could be living with them, that's considered a family. You could be married to them, that's considered family. You have children with them, that's still considered family, even if you're living apart. So I feel like it's a major... Um, relationship significant relationship and usually when I see these two cards and you know two two court cards in the same suit it usually means you have known this person for quite some time they you kind of grew up with them you saw them at a younger stage here with the knight of pentacles and now that they've matured they're more seasoned you've passed many many seasons many years with them you have spent many many years with them and you thought they were one way and they turn out to be another you thought they have changed you thought they have you know let old habits die but i feel like they're showing themselves to be a little bit more on the self-serving end and i feel like many of you you put up with a lot in relationships and i feel that you know, they say Leos are extremely loyal, but I feel like it's not just about loyalty. It's about, you know, doing what's right, wanting to stick with a person through thick and thin. You're very good at that. And you feel like you might have had somebody figured out and that I feel like last month things just, you were thrown kind of like a curveball. Some things were revealed based on how I, I feel like self-serving somebody could be and you're racking your brains trying to figure out why are they like that? Why are they just like that? I thought I've, I, we've been through this. I thought, you know, they were better. I thought they would have changed, but also old habits die hard. Okay. So I feel like there is some need here from your end. You're still trying to figure things out. Do I need them in my life? Do I want to reconcile? I might have said some things out of anger, but they're also at fault. So I feel like you're going through this internal emotionally uh, shifting back and forth, straddling the fence, what should I do? Um, who's really at fault? You know, trying to go through this process of weighing out the pros and cons of the situation and trying to sort out what should I do? And then for others of you, the way that this card shows up here, it indicates financial fluctuations, financial fluctuations. So I feel like for many of you, I honestly feel like there is a lot of stress and strain as it relates to work, making the type of money that you want, feeling as if you might have been passed over for some like a promotion, um, going on a job interview and feeling like they might have gone ahead with another candidate. So I feel like you're you're in a situation where you you feel kind of jilted, you feel kind of jaded and you're just like, do I want to continue working here they're not appreciating me otherwise they would have given me a promotion already and then for others it's like I don't want to work with you anyways you know feeling like a little bit um, getting your ego pricked a little bit and not wanting to stay in a specific predicament because of how you felt you were treated and so we have new work and new projects that are coming into the picture for you and if you are ever solicited, you know, for like, um, for some, some hours of your time, which sounds weird, but that's the way it came out. So this is kind of like a new, a person coming into the picture, making an offer to you. Do you want to, you know, do this contract? Do you want to work for me? Do you want to cover this one work project is short term? It's going to pay this much. And I feel like many of you, you have a lot going on in your life already and you're not really sure if you should do that. And so they're saying to go ahead and do it because I feel like 
this project, it's got your name stamped all over it, okay? It shows up here as the Ace of Wands rather than an Ace of Pentacles because I feel like it signifies to me that this is something that you would be really good at. It's like you're the one they have chosen to lead the charge. You're the one that they have chosen because of your skills, your assets, and everything that you're bringing to the table. They feel like you would be a very good candidate. So find the time to take on an additional... Uh, either more responsibilities or even taking on a second job because this once again a second stream of income that is going to be coming in for you you're not really sure if you have the time left over to do it you're not really sure if you should get involved in it but I do feel that it's going to be good for you okay so moving forward on the other end um, I feel like there's something wrong here with the living situation. I usually think of the Ace of Wands as like a house, a housing situation or a house situation. Okay, this is kind of like, you see that little house in the back? So it's kind of like a new venture. I do feel for many of you, there are stress and strain as it relates to moving, as it relates to picking a house, waiting for you know, like uh, an offer to come through, waiting for you to be able to sell your house before you can move into a new house. So things are being delayed a little bit. You can't really move. You can't really travel the way that you want. Things are being bogged down and slowed down significantly. So it's causing you a little bit of anxiety and stress because I sense that many of you, it's like there, there are a lot of children in the picture and they, you know, it's school time here. It's um, the beginning of a new year, especially in the uh, Northern Hemisphere. So many of you are trying to get things done in a timely manner. You know, enroll the kids in school, finding a new sit housing situation first, enrolling the kids in school. And so there's a, a myriad of things that you have to take care of. And this housing situation is kind of weighing you down, bogging you down, and you can't really move from it because you're waiting on decisions from other people. And so that's going to be a, a source of frustration as well. But the kids, they look, they look fine. They look content. They look happy. They look like they're making new friends. So don't worry too much, okay? Um, the last message that I want to convey here, this deals with an air sign. So an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And I feel there are financial entanglements that you have with this person. I also feel there were a lot of hurtful things that they might have said to you in the past that cut you on a very deep emotional level. You are a very proud sign. So when you are hurt, you do lash out, you do strike back. And I feel like there might have been a, an ongoing, you know, um, conflict with this person. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Ongoing conflict. It, this is a power struggle right here because I feel like no one's really backing down and it has caused a lot of strife over the years. There's a lot of worries and anxieties as a result of it as well. And so we want to be able to let things go. We want to be able to apologize when we're in the wrong. We want to also not let our pride get the best of us because, you know, at the end of our lives, it's um, it's these things that we don't do that makes us feel regret, right? So if you feel like you want to reach out and apologize, do so. If you feel somebody owes you an apology, make a demand of them. Just say you owe me an apology. If they choose not to, guess what? At the end of their lives, it's that lack of an apology that they're going to regret, right? So I feel like this is an important month to sort through all these things and to figure out what you can have control over and what you cannot. The things that you have control over, you can go back and fix them. The things that you, you know, somebody else's ego, uh, like a, an ego game, somebody else's um, lack of, somebody else's lack of like, um, communication or the way that they communicate is just rubbing you the wrong way or they're ver being very uh, aggressive and abrasive with communication or they are especially you know blaming you for the wrong things these are things that are external you don't have control over how this person feels you don't have control over how they react so you turn your back on them okay turn your back look the other way there are other things for you to focus your time in. So realizing what we need to turn our back on, who we need to turn our back on, and realizing who we need to help. 
that's very crucial for this month because I feel like life is really too short for you guys this month. You're realizing that everything is very fragile. Relationships are really fragile. Life is very fragile. Time is speeding up. And so this month is about where are we wasting our energy? Where are we devoting our time? And where are we not being able to affect the change that we want? Because we're dealing with the riffraff that doesn't deserve our time. Okay? So I feel like the message is a little bit harsh. But I hope that it is well received. And I hope that it is helpful for many of you who are dealing with this. Okay? Things will get better financially. I feel like you have a second revenue stream that's coming through. You have people that I, I feel like, you know, you're struggling to hold it together. And so just take care of yourself. Just, you know, tell everybody else to go take a hike and just learn to take care of yourself first. Because I feel like physically and emotionally, it's taking its toll on you. Okay. Trying to be so brave, to be so strong, to keep everything afloat. I feel like it has dire consequences when it comes to your physical, emotional, and mental health. Okay. So, Learn to delegate. A good leader always learns to delegate early on, okay? 